number one YouTube golf channel. I wanna hear from you guys. If you've never left a comment before, please leave a comment. I wanna hear your feedback. Who's the number one YouTube golf channel and why you think they're number one? I really wanna have this conversation because I wanna hear your feedback and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys that are watching this video watch a lot of YouTube golf. So I know you guys have experience and I wanna hear from you guys on what you guys want to see. So please let me know who's the number one golf channel and why you think they're number one. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna let you guys know who I think the number one is and some of my favorites. Let's get right into this video. Par three, 144 yards. The wind's kinda coming with me a little bit. I'm gonna go right for the middle of the green. Pins tucked on the left on that second level. Eight iron, middle of the green here. Just gonna try and hit it as straight as possible. Nothing fancy on this hole. Well, that's good. We're right next to the hole. So I was watching, I guess there's a bunch of guys that like now rate and like review, discuss YouTube golf news, which I think is kind of cool. And I think that that helps the YouTube golf community. And shout out to those guys. And I think it's kind of cool and that there's a little niche for that. But my question is, am I in the conversation? I leave it up to you guys. Am I number one? Am I top 10? Am I top five? I don't know. I want to hear from you guys. So definitely leave that in your comments as well. I want to hear your feedback on my content that I'm creating. Here we go with this putt, left to right, kind of downhill, but a little bit uphill. Ooh, more left to right than I thought. Still moving right. All right, par on that. All right, so let's talk about the top three. These are not just my top three. I think that they're just the top three based off of statistics and amount of followers and the way they've paved the way. I think number one, you gotta go with the OG, Rick Shields. He's been in the game the longest and really started almost YouTube golf. And then I'd say it's a tie between Good Good and Bob Does Sports based off preference. Now, for me, Bob Does Sports, I got to spend a lot of time with them, played multiple rounds with Bob and Joey Colcutts and Fat Perez. I did a video with them. They were just amazing guys, super, super nice, and just had an overall great time playing with them. And Bob has given me some, and still gives me some great advice on the YouTube side and all social media. And I couldn't say better things about all three of them. They've just been great. And then Good Good, I think, has also paved the way and brought a lot more kids into golf through YouTube. I've had the opportunity to play with Garrett and Bubby and Grant when he was in Good Good and just after he left Good Good. I actually saw them at my club and I was behind them. I really didn't do social media. I saw them and I was like, is that Good Good? And I got, I was like all nervous and then I played with them for nine holes and they were just super nice. I think they just really made it real for me. They made it something that I could achieve and that I could do as well. And to show people that anybody could do it, it was really cool meeting them. So par five, 475 yards. I know a lot of the comments are going to be and already have been do collabs with this one and that one. I've reached out to, I would say most of the YouTube golf creators out there. So I'd love to do it if they're up to it. Hopefully they are. And I also want to talk about, like I've said multiple times, bringing you guys the most creative golf YouTube content out there and what do I mean by that so for example I've done the first ever junior golf tournament filmed on YouTube I've done the first ever YouTube golf live event on YouTube I do the premieres which aren't live it really means a lot to me to create the community build the community based off the love that you guys have shown for the channel basically making like a little community of the Gabby golf girl YouTube channel because I want to grow this channel to be as big as I possibly can so let's get right into this hole par five this this hole it seems pretty wide open you only got one bunker it's just trees and trees but that fairway really slopes right to left and you don't want to be right in that bunker because it's completely reachable so i'm going to go middle right of the fairway here straight drive is extremely important on this hole the rest of the hole is fairly easy all right we're good wow the bugs are getting me today Whew. i'm really trying to bring a different element to golf youtube that no one's ever seen before so whether it be challenging random people at the golf course you know to come play for money like i think that's really cool and i really want to take a different route while keeping golf the main center the main focus of the channel i think that'll help it grow 
and I enjoy creating that content. So again, run up the comment section, give me your feedback, tell me all the constructive criticism, what you wanna see, what you don't wanna see, let me know. The reason I titled this video number one golf YouTube channel out there is because for me, the ultimate goal, my dreams, my goal, what I really think we can achieve is the number one YouTube golf channel out there. Like, I firmly believe that we have, first of all, the following and the support. Two, I think we have the creative content and I just really believe in it. That's my goal. So this hole is pretty easy from now on. Where those people have their cart, I don't know if that's reachable, but that's exactly where we, you wanna go. Let's actually laser them because they rode up all the way to the green. Yeah, so they're in reach. 222 for them. Ooh, it went right. I spoke too soon. We're fine, but it's just a little bit right. Got that uphill. Ooh, spoke too soon on that. Maybe it's not the easiest hole. Still a good spot to be. We're good. I think I, I think I overreacted a little bit too soon on that. I was like, ooh, I thought I was going for the bunkers. We're good. 75 yards. So this is over this up here. The pin is usually, it's a small little green, but everything rolls left to right. So if you were to hit your three wood and you were able to reach the green in two, you'd have a pretty good chance if you just went left at that bunker and roll all the way down. Oh, that's right at it. It's like three yards short, maybe two yards short. We're good. All good there. Gotta fill in your divots. Remember to fill in your divots. Is it just me or these? I don't know. The, I don't know what these are called. These ones are so annoying. The sand that comes in here is so much easier. This is so annoying. Every time I go out there, it brings me nothing, and then as soon as I put it back, it gets all on my hand. I don't know, I think I, I feel like everybody has this problem. Is it this way, or is it like this? Maybe there's another way, I don't know. But you see that? Did you see that? I come back, it comes back all over you. Not a fan, not a fan. <laughs> For me right now, what I'm focused on is being the number one golf YouTube creator. That's because that's really what I love to do. I love playing golf and I love making content. I'm still practicing my golf. I still will always practice to be the best golfer I can. You guys will be along the journey for that, but I wanna be the best I could be in this, in both things actually. I just wanna bring you guys on the journey. And honestly, I cannot do that without you guys. All right, on this putt after that, here we go, right to left. Gotta end on a make, right? Oh, I thought it was right to left. It was right to left. Come on. Ah. Oh. All right, wait, I'm gonna put that and do that again because for me, that is confusing. Still doesn't change the fact that I'm gonna put in whatever it takes to become the number one best golf YouTuber in the world.